What's going on, guys? Got another uh, lure review for you this week. It's going to be on the Norman Square Bill Crankbait. It's uh, the Norman Fat Boy. If you guys haven't heard of it, the, this is a fantastic little crankbait. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you the features of it. So let's check it out. All right, guys. So Square Bill Crankbaits. Like I said, we're going to be getting into Square Bill Crankbait reviews. <clears throat> This is a leftover crankbait that uh, I ordered from my top order, my top order uh, order that I placed on Tackle Warehouse last time, and I ordered one Scrobo crankbait, which was this one. So I'm gonna do this review, and then I have the order. It's it's in route. It is in Oakland, California, as we speak, and I will be doing an unboxing as soon as I get it for all those new Scrobo crankbaits that I have uh, that are on the way. I have one. That I that I got that is actually back ordered, um, and I hope that they didn't cancel it. But I, I don't think that they canceled it. But I I do have uh, one set of square bowl crankbaits that are back ordered, and I'll show you which ones they are when they get here. But other than that, I think I think we're gonna have ten new square bowl crankbait reviews coming out. So anyway, this will be the first one in that in that lineup. So this is the Norman Fat Boy, you guys. Um, Go ahead and give you the, the dimensions of it. it. It has a length of two inches and a weight of seven sixteenths of an ounce. And it has a diving depth of zero to four feet and it is floating. Um, if you guys haven't seen the the Norman Fat Boys, you guys really need to check these things out. I really like Norman stuff because they're very competitively priced as far as they are um they are uh they're inexpensive. You're not going to pay fifteen dollars for them. You're going to pay like four or five dollars for them. So, uh, and and they're made. I think they're made very well. They have uh, this particular one. The the Fat Boy is made out of uh, what they call their gel coat, which has just this thick coating around it. You can actually see it. It's actually over the the three dimensional holographic eye that they have on here. That gel coat actually goes right over the top of it. Very, very durable and uh, just a very thick coating on it. Uh, you can see here's the the square lip. They describe it as a coffin bill, but it's a square bill. Um, you've got that split ring there. And then there's some conflicting um, ideas here with what these hooks are. Um, I think Tackle Warehouse is saying that they're black nickel kamikatsu hooks. Whereas if you go to you go to Norman's website, they say that the gel coat lures have VMC black nickel cone cut vandium trebles, and the standard ones have VMC bronze cone cut hooks. <clears throat> um, they don't really look like gamakatsus to me, but because I know that the gamakatsus have a they have a flat side on the hook, and I'm not really seeing a flat side on here. Maybe there is one right there. Either way, though, they're actually really nice hooks. I don't, I don't replace them at all. Uh, the thing that I really like about this crankbait is that um, it's got a very different profile than any of the other square bow crankbaits that we have. I mean, most of them have this, um, this elongated uh, body profile, and this one is like. Just like the name suggests, it's short and it's fat. So it has this really wide, aggressive wobble. And it dives down very, very well, too. So um, it's, it's, I mean, it's very buoyant, but normally some of the, the ultra buoyant ones, like the, the ones that are really big and made out of balsa wood, you have a hard time getting them down to like that three or four foot depth, um, especially when you're slow rolling them. But with these, these things actually dive very, very well, for me at least. I'll go ahead and give you a measurement before I forget. The body length of this is just like they say, it's two inches with, without the ring. And then with it, it's like two and an eighth. And then with the bill, with the bill and the ring, it's like two and a half inches. So it's a really small crankbait. It casts very, very, very well. It's got, I guess you can call it a rattle. You can kind of hear it in here. 
but um, it's kind of like the the ballast system that's in it. It's just a ball that's in a chamber here, and it kind of rocks from side to side. And I believe that's the only thing that's in it. Now, Norman crankbaits, they have three different styles of uh, finishes. Uh, they have just their their normal finish, or their standard finish, which are uh, less expensive. The the Norman website says they run about four dollars a piece, and then the gel coat ones, which is what these are, run about five dollars and fifty cents a piece. And then they have the limited uh, the limited color ones, which are five and a quarter. <clears throat> but the the Norman Fat Boys. They only come in a gel coat is what is what these guys are, is what Norman saying they only come in gel in a gel coat. So that's uh that's pretty nice though. I mean these if you guys haven't seen these things, you guys really need to check them out. They're they're very very nice. You can see that uh they definitely have a different profile compared to this is the that new Lucky Strike uh Rick Clun. And then here's the Norman Fat Boy. So there's no scale pattern on these. There's no gill plates or anything like that. But uh, what it lacks in detail, it makes up for in um, in just overall performance. So it's a it's a great performing lure, and uh, I'm very happy to have several of these. And unfortunately, I'm only able to find them at one place in my town. Uh, in my town, you can only find this chartreuse black back. And you can only find it at Walmart. You can, uh, nobody else really carries it in my town. And I'm pretty sure that that's kind of the way it goes for a lot of people, that they keep finding this chartreuse black back in Walmart. I don't know. Uh, at least Walmart carries them, but they're only carrying this color from what I understand. So I don't know what that's all about. So I got two different colors here. Um, I'm going to start with this color first. This is this uh, baby bass color. Baby bass has the red eye. Now, the eyes vary from bait to bait you can see that this one's got a, a gold sclera and then this one's got a red sclera so the baby bass just has this uh, very high glitter finish on it and it's kind of got a a light green uh, light brownish back and then it has this uh, this bass stripe here this horizontal stripe and it's kind of a, an off white, but it's very, it's got a lot of glitter. You're going to find that the Norman crankbaits, when they, when they put a glitter in their bait, I mean, they really don't mess around with it. They, they're very, they're very gaudy. So, uh, this is baby bass. <clears throat> the next one we have here. Uh, is another conflicting name. They on Tackle Warehouse, you're gonna find it as White Green Fleck, but when you get it out of the package, it's called uh, Smoky Joe. Smoky Joe has this. It looks almost kind of like a black back with this very um, high shine uh, green, like emerald glitter on it, and then fading into this this. Uh, it's like a stark white belly. And you can see that red throat. This one also has a red sclera. It seems like most of them have a red sclera, but you'll find that some of them have a gold sclera. And it looks like those are the two eyes that they use, unless I'm, unless I'm seeing a white one here. But it looks like those are mainly the two ones that they have. <clears throat> this color, I actually have another color like it. Well, let me show it. Show you this color first before I dig that one out of there. This one is Smoky Joe. Okay, so Smoky Joe. It's also called White Green Fleck. Here's that bait that I that I have for you. This is that uh, Rick Clun RC2 by uh, Lucky Strike, not Lucky Craft, but the color. Look at how similar they are. And I've caught so many fish on this one. I actually caught uh, several bass on this one too, but I mean the colors are very similar, even down to the, the red sclera on the eye. So I know that this one came out before this one, so must have been a fairly successful color for them. But look at that. They're so similar. I mean, even, even down to the red throat. So, but I really love this color, you guys. I mean, it's just, it's so fantastic. 
uh, and this baby bass color is awesome too. I really like how it's kind of like that off-white color. You can see that this one's just this bright white, and then this one's kind of like this eggshell uh, off-white color, like a dirty white. So anyway, you guys need to check these things out. Like I said, very inexpensive, and they're very effective. And if you were to ever lose one, I mean, it's really no harm, no foul, because they're not, they're not that expensive to begin with. So um, Norman Fat Boy Crankbaits, check these bad boys out. And um, I hope you guys liked that speed bag video that I put up. That was just uh, something that uh, I wanted to put up, something a little different. Um, I've been doing that for probably about eight years now and um, just decided to throw a video up for you guys. I, I used to have another YouTube channel where I posted videos like that up and then I kind of just let it go and I started this one instead. <clears throat> but um, if you guys want, um, I can throw those up um, here and there, but this is still, this is still what we're doing here. I mean, we're, we're still doing the fishing stuff. So all my subscribers, if you, if you didn't really enjoy that video, don't worry because this is, uh, this is still what we're doing here. We're, we're a channel that's revolve, revolving around fishing stuff. But uh, if you guys want to see another video like that, uh, let me know and uh, I'll go out in the garage and I'll shoot one for you. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.